All right, guys. We're gonna do a uh, little video review here of the GoPro's new app that just came out on the iPhone and the iPad and all that. And it should be coming out very shortly for the Android Marketplace. It is their GoPro app, which you can actually control your GoPro that has a Wi-Fi backpack right through your phone itself. So it's very simple. First thing you're going to do is obviously download the app through the iPhone App Store. You can do it through the iPod app or your, the Apple Store, however you want to do it. I did it just through App Store on my iPhone here. Just typed in GoPro. There's like two or three that pop up. Just find the right one you need and download that. It's free and it's very awesome to do. And people need to stop texting me while I'm trying to do something. So, second thing you want to do before you launch the actual app itself on the phone is you need to update the GoPro and the GoPro backpack, the Wi-Fi backpack. Now this works on the Hero 2s. It doesn't work on the other ones, I don't believe. So I do have, there's two of them here. I have two different Hero 2s here. I have only one backpack at the time. I am uh, probably going to buy another backpack here shortly so I can control both of them at the same time. And once I do that, I will put another video up of the two different cameras itself recording. So, but for now, we're just going to put this one to the side. And we're going to focus on this one here. So, what you need to do, like I said, is just you update it. You can update it using the GoPro Cineform Studio. That is a free download off the GoPro website itself. There will be links in the description for all this stuff that you need. And it's very simple, just, you know, follow the steps, download that. And then what you're going to do is you want to turn your uh, camera on. It's very simple, just one button on the front. Obviously, if you've already had your GoPro, you know how to do it. And then what you want to do is actually put it into the cell phone and uh, tablet mode. So how to do that is you just turn the camera to the side, hit the button one time on the side of the GoPro on the backpack, and you'll see your different options here. You have... Obviously, turn the Wi-Fi off. You have the uh, remote control setting. You have phone and tablet. There are further settings down a little bit further. You know, network, and you can cancel the, the actual uh, menu itself. So what you want to do is you want to go to phone and tablet. Select the phone and tablet one. You can see that now it is in the phone or tablet setting. And then what you want to do is you go to your phone. Go into your settings on your phone. Go to your Wi-Fi settings. And once you go to Wi-Fi settings, you want to pull it up. And the first time connecting, if uh, you aren't connected to it already, like I'm already connected to it because I was doing this earlier, but uh, what you want to do is you want to find your the right one, like mine is labeled as GoPro Backpack. Just connect to that setting, that Wi-Fi setting, and then just go back. Now, there's a couple different things. If When you open up your Cineform Studio and you actually configure your Wi-Fi Backpack, you can change the name and then you can also set a password. If you don't set the password, the default password is GoPro Hero, all lowercase. Just type that in and it should connect up. So once you have that completed, what you want to do is find your GoPro app. You open up your GoPro app. And once you open it, you get three different options. You have your video of the day. You have photo of the day, so now if you're connected to the internet, all you have to do is just click on one of those and it'll pull up all the new photos of the day or the video of the day. But what we're focused on here is the connect and control. So what you wanna do is just hit that option one time. And what that'll do is it'll open up your menu. Now once you open up this menu, you have a couple different things you can do. You have the button in this top corner here. I don't know how clear it's going to be. It's a full screen or an expanded version. So if I click that, it'll actually expand the preview to take up a little bit more of the screen. Now the one thing I haven't tried is it does work is if you flip the camera or the phone itself it will change and then if you tap the screen one time it shuts the preview off. So the preview is off I can go back now and if I go back it won't write itself. So you can turn the preview on and off by touching it the where the actual preview is itself. You can actually turn the whole camera off as well by this little knob here. You just flip that over and it'll shut the camera off. I'll show you that a little bit later. Then you also have your record button in the middle. Down at the bottom, this shows here, this is a number one. That shows that I have one video on the camera now. 
We also have your, in the bottom right, battery level, and it's the Wi-Fi symbol showing that you're connected to Wi-Fi. Now, you have your settings menu. Now, once you have your settings menu up, there's a couple different things you can do. You can turn your preview on and off here. You can locate a camera. Now, the locate camera, say if you have more than one like I do here, if I had an extra backpack, I could actually locate and it would bring up a list of what cameras are on your uh, Wi-Fi. And you can hear the camera in the background actually beeping because of this. And we can turn that off. And now we also have your different modes at the bottom. Now you can change that. Say you can jump right to you know your time or your uh, delay timer. You can go right to back to camera or your video camera. Now also, you'll notice if I hit the button one time on the front of the camera, it will change the modes and it will actually scroll right through on your screen without even having to do anything. You can go back to video camera. And then you can also go into your settings menu and go further into the settings. You can have every setting option available right on your phone. So video resolution, I can change what resolution it is right on the fly. So I can go to 720 or 960. You know, anything that they have available in the regular menu is right available on the phone. You can change everything else, field of view, photo resolution, time lapse, upside down, spot meter, everything that, every option that's available is right on your phone. And it also has this kind of neat feature where you can delete your last file, delete all files, just like on the camera. But it also has a SD card capacity. Now like mine, I have one video on the card, so it shows one video. And after that one video, I will have one hour and ten minutes worth of recording time available. I have one photo on the card, and with one photo on the card, that now means I have 1,248 pictures available. Depending on the card size, it'll be different. So obviously, you know, whatever card size you have in there, it'll change. Now we'll just go back, and we'll expand this view a little bit. <coughs> Pardon me. Make it a little easier for us to see. Now you will see that it's on a delay. So like I just moved the camera, and you'll see now that the camera moved. So like I'll wipe my hand in front of it. When I wipe my hand in front of the camera, now you can see it move. So it, there is a little bit of a time delay. Like we'll raise up the camera a little bit so we can see what we're recording with. You'll be able to see it raise. So there you go. It's a little bit different. It's not perfect real time, but it's not bad. There are occasional little freezes and stuff like that, but it's actually not too bad. So what we'll do is if you hit the record button in the middle, it'll start recording. You can see up at the top left, the uh, record is now red. So it's actually recording right now, right from the phone. So it gives you a little bit of a uh, preview. It's not real time, like I said, but it's still pretty neat that when you are recording, it still shows that you're recording. It still shows what it's viewing. So we'll end that recording. It'll end, obviously, just like the regular camera. And you'll also be able to see that the counter just went up now. So now it's at, obviously, two videos on this camera. So we'll flip this right back the right way. We'll go back. And uh, I'll show you how you can actually turn the camera off right from your phone. Just like if you had the backpack and you held the button down. Just flip the button. Shuts the camera off. And now you're just ready to go. So you can see now there's no camera attached to it. If I were to flip it back on. Turns the camera right back on. Once it turns the camera on, does a little delay for the preview. And then once the preview pops back up, you're good to go again. So there you go. We'll turn it back off. <coughs> Pardon me again. Turn it back off, and now you're all set. So if you go back, you go right back to the main menu. So camera's off. You know, you can't connect the control anymore. If you pull it up, it still says the camera's off. You just turn it back on, you're good to go. So there's a quick little under 10 minute review of the new app for GoPro and the GoPro Wi-Fi backpack. If you guys have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll answer it as best as I can. Later.